Dr. Lilinio. Uh, sir, I want to continue the conversation on the topic of inequality and poverty in our society. One of the best ways to mitigate this issue is giving more support to Singaporeans facing challenges. An integrated case management approach focused on development of the human capital, which I suggested in 2008 in this House, is even more relevant today. PM said that Singapore must not allow social stratification to harden, as my parliamentary colleague earlier said, Mr. Kitia Kamping. I wish to repeat my call for a comprehensive assistance package for low-income families focused on human capital investment. The package includes employment upgrading opportunities for parents, new employment opportunities for unemployed spouses, and continuous assistance and hand-holding for these parents. Helping needy families with jobs, upgrading them and encouraging them to stay at employment will assist them to support their family members, especially their children, better. We need to address holistically the many complex and intertwining problems that many of such families face. These are financial difficulty, balancing low-paying jobs with family responsibilities, childcare facilities, housing, and healthcare needs, and so on. These problems are compounded in single parents or foreign spouse households. We have to tweak our policies to favor Singaporean children regardless of the residency status of their parents. One example is to allow foreign mothers to place their Singaporean children at childcare with full subsidies and to allow these foreign mothers to find employment. Children from such families face a great challenge participating in the education process. Thus, we should assist in childcare, kindergarten, after school care placement for them, as well as individual hand-holding approach and follow up for those with more educational needs. Many of these children, especially the youth, may be at risk of falling into bad company. How can MSF intervene early and better support these children and youth so that they can seize opportunities and achieve success? Improvement of delivering assistance to those in need is core to helping this group. Unless we have this good outreach, the intention and whatever good schemes there are will be wasted. We need to identify and reach out to those in need, even if it means incurring expenses in manpower to do so. We can tap this information of those in need from our data with social service officers, grassroots and VWO referrals, house-to-house -house visits and so on. There are many schemes available to help those in need, but they are mostly incomprehensible and untapped by this group. In order to reap the desired outcome, MSF can coordinate and facilitate those in need to apply and to tap from the various schemes at a one-stop service center. This will ensure that such families will not fall through the cracks. This will in turn contribute to our goal of pursuing a sustainable approach in helping low-income Singaporeans becoming more upwardly mobile. What are MSF plans to support Singaporeans from the low-income groups to help individuals and families improve their circumstances? MSF had earlier announced the plan to set up social service hubs in and around rental precincts. How will this initiative better support families living in rental flats and how can the community play a part? <laughs> 